Hello and welcome to a HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create snow inside of HitFilm Express. This will use an add-on pack which is the particle simulator so you can grab that. At the moment on the HitFilm website there is a January sale 25% off everything in store which takes the price down to £33 rather than £44. So it's a really good effect, it's used for everything that you want that has something to do with falling particles, you like rain, smoke, fire, missile smokes, meteors, uh, building damage with rubble falling from the sky, it's pretty much one of the best effects that HitFilm has. This shot is made up of a background, I found that on Google, with the particle simulator snow in front. So you want to start off by pressing new, plus new, and then composite shot, and now you can name this snow tutorial or something. That doesn't really matter. Then set it to what template you want to use. And I'm going to change this to being 20 seconds long, and hitting OK. So now what you want to do is you want to grab the particle simulator, which if you I could spell. Now just drag that on and now go into controls, emitters, emitter. Now in shape you want to change this to being cube. And now if you just move ahead a couple you can actually see the particles. Now you want to unlink scale, right, it's just there, press that button inside of the shape after you've pressed cube. And I want to change this first property to being 2000. That's now made a long bar. Now you want to change the second property to 80. Then this top one to 600. And then you can just drag this green arrow in the viewer all the way up to the top. So now you've done that then you've got like the main part of this done. However, snow falls, it doesn't disappear as soon as it starts falling. So now you want to, and that's to do with the life. So now search in the top bar here, life. And then you'll find this life. Uh, now set it to 60 seconds, that'll mean that it stays out. And as you can see, the particles now fall down to the bottom of the screen. Now I decided I wanted smaller particles, yet more of them. So I then went and searched for scale. And then you want to choose this movement scale property just here. Not not any of those, that will actually change the scale of the emitter. You want to choose scale here, and then to 20. So now you've got really, really small particles. Now you want to go to per second. And this will change how many particles are spawned in your emitter at the top per second. So every second, I set mine to 250, which means every second 250 particles will be created and then they'll slowly glide, uh, glide down to the bottom. I also change the speed to be something like 100, because at the moment they're a bit too fast. However, that really depends on what you want. Uh, it's That's just your choice. So now you've created like this basic effect, you might have noticed that they sort of fall in at the start, which is fine, say if you wanted it to just start snowing at the start of your shot, but most people won't, they just want a snowy scene. So if you then search for time, time shift, and then if you set minus 15 seconds, that seems to work for me. Again, that depends on your shot and ha what your speed is. So as you can see, we've now got an emitter sending out lots of small particles. However, th at the moment they are just white dots, not very exciting or looking like snow. So now if you go into the particle systems, open that up, open up appearance, texture source, built in, and then you want to change it from Aurora Borealis, Snowflakes Light. Then, as you can see, we've now got lots of small particles that look like snowflakes. You can change the scale once more, say if you after you did that you thought they were a bit too big, I'm just going to experiment around with some different sizes. This stuff is all up to you. I'm going to go with something between that, so it's going to be 15. And now you want to keep saving your project all the way through. So, now you've created your snow, you might want to add it to a background. This can be anything, I just grabbed this image off of the internet. Then scale it up if needed. 
and now you have got a nice wintry scene for your wintry projects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Check out my main channel which is NDP Productions. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.